how's it? This is Luke with harmonica.com. When I was learning the harmonica, I spent days and days and days, if not weeks, trying to isolate notes, and it was very frustrating. So I'm here today to show you the best, easiest, fastest way to learn how to isolate notes and be up and running, ready to rock some killer songs on the harmonica. And we're going to learn one today, which is Lowrider. Now the harmonica is kind of a unique instrument in that it's easy to play two or three notes at the same time, but it actually requires that we learn a technique in order to play a single note. You may be aware that there's two different techniques that are very commonly used for isolating notes on the harmonica. One is called tongue blocking, and the other one is usually referred to as the pucker technique or the lip pursing technique. But here at harmonica.com, we prefer to call it the lip blocking technique or maybe the semi-pucker. And the reason why is that you want to keep your lips and your jaw relaxed. And the number one mistake that beginners make is that they, they want to tense up their lips like this and, and play at the harmonica instead of putting it nice and deep inside of the mouth with a relaxed mouth position. There's some harmonica nerds out there that'll tell you, oh, you're not a real harmonica player if you're not tongue blocking. But I would say Paul Butterfield, Sonny Terry, Howard Levy, John Popper, all use the pucker technique for isolating notes, and they've all had very successful careers. You can still get awesome tone using this technique, and it's definitely the fastest and easiest way to isolate notes. And so that's what we're gonna start here, is learning how to put the harmonica into your mouth. And then once we've got that down, then we'll, then we'll focus on how to really isolate the notes. So I'm playing a C harmonica here. Any 10-hole diatonic harmonica will do the trick for this lesson. First thing you wanna do is grab your harmonica, with hole number one on the left and hole number 10 on the right. Lick your lips, relax them, and place the harmonica in your mouth, like this. Okay, don't, don't ten tense up your lips and put them against the harmonica like this. Uh, uh, no, we're gonna put the harmonica inside the mouth. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate the harmonica slightly up towards the ceiling, about 30 degrees, like this. Once it's in the mouth, we're gonna rotate it up. Notice that the harmonica is deep inside my top lip, okay? And that's part of what rotating it up does. It helps it get deep inside my top lip. Really common problem at the beginning is people's top lips are too shallow on the harmonica. Now this is probably the most important part. We want the bottom lip to be unfolded. Use your finger and pull it down to unfold it. Okay, that will ensure you that you're in the proper mouth position. The harmonica is contacting the moist inner portion of my lower lip. Maybe if you grab your phone here and you take a selfie, then you'll see whether you're doing it right or not. So that can be a good way to check. Now, we're just gonna bring the corners of our mouths together. And what that's gonna do is the lower lip is actually gonna block a couple of the holes. So, so let's start by trying to isolate the four blow, okay? And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our, our mouth over three, four, five, and then we're gonna bring the corners of our mouth closer together. And what's gonna happen is that the lower lip is gonna block holes three and five so that we're just gonna be blowing hole four. So, so I'm starting and then I'm bringing the corners of the mouth closer together. until I have just that one single note. This is what my mouth looks like. Okay. Not this. I'm not, the top lip does not have to pucker. The top lip is just going along for the ride. It's just nice and over that harmonica. It's not doing anything. That's why we also like to call this technique the semi-pucker, because it's only the lower lip that is actually doing the isolating of the notes. So again, we can blow on three, four, five, and then bring the corners of the mouth together. So that we hear that nice single note. Okay, now maybe you're not sure, like am I getting it or I'm not getting it? I can't quite tell. You're not used to hearing what a single note sounds like compared to two notes. Another thing that you can do is you can literally take your fingers and uh, just to kind of help you get the sound of it, and block holes three and five, and then just blow into four. 
Well, that can assure yourself, okay, this is what a single note is supposed to sound like. So now let me see if I can get there. Put it in, rotate it up, unfold the lower corners together. And there we have our single note. Hey, did you get it? Or are you still having problems? If you're still having problems, here's another thing we can try. We can tilt the harmonica all the way back until our lip is literally blocking all the notes and then slightly tilt it forward until one of the notes comes in. So the same thing, deep relaxed mouth position, moisten the lips, put the harmonica in the mouth, unfold the lower lip, rotate it up, and then we're gonna tilt this all the way towards the ceiling where we blow and we're just blowing against the side of the harmonica at this point. And then we'll slowly rotate it. And so rotating it back, that helped me a lot at the beginning. I would be playing the harmonica literally like this long. Like literally rotate it back like that a lot because that was how I get. And eventually your lips will get used to it. And if you have to rotate it back in order to get it at the beginning, that's cool. Just just keep doing it because eventually your lips are going to kind of figure it out and you're not going to have to keep rotating it back so far. That can be really helpful to getting that note isolated. If you're following along with me, you might be finding that certain holes aren't sounding good. Like you can isolate certain ones, but then maybe the two draw and the three draw specifically aren't sounding good. Or maybe some of the high notes are not coming out clearly. And you might be wondering to yourself, is my harmonica broken? Well, the answer is very, very likely your harmonica is not broken. And I'm going to give you three tips that can help troubleshoot what's most likely causing this problem. Okay. Number one, relax your jaw. Saying ah will automatically lower your jaw so that your teeth aren't too close together. Okay, I'm trying to play the, I'm gonna try and play the two draw. It sounds like a dying duck. Why is that? It's because my teeth are clenched. Like this. I wanna, I wanna drop the jaw, say ah. So instead of, I'm gonna open my teeth, drop the jaw. See the draw, the jaw is dropping. I'm saying, ah. If I clench my tooth, it doesn't sound good. It's not pretty. Okay, number two, pay attention to what the back of your tongue is doing. If the back of your tongue is raised up, that's not gonna produce a nice tone. Later on, when we learn how to bend, we will actually lift up the back of our tongue. And to help you understand what the feeling of lifting the back of the tongue is, say k, 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 k. You feel how the back of your tongue is is touching up against the palate of your mouth. K, 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 k. That's not the zone that we want to be in when we're isolating notes. We want to lower the back of the tongue, not the front of the tongue. We're not talking about lowering the front of the tongue because that lowering the front of the tongue will actually lift the back of the tongue. We're talking about lowering the back of the tongue. We don't want to be in the k zone, okay? Because if I'm, that's k, k, k. But if I, if I lower the back of the tongue and say, ah, if I lift the back of the tongue, we're back to the dying duck syndrome. Again, we will lift the back of the tongue later when we learn how to bend. But right now, we want to keep the back of the tongue down. We want to keep the jaw low and relaxed in an ah vowel position. Oh, how come mine doesn't sound like yours? It's just blowing and drawing too hard, you know? We're excited to do this, and we just overblow. And I mean, even I was professional for years, I was still blowing this, and the harmonica, I'm still playing the harmonica way too hard. It's, it's always, we have to remind ourselves to relax. Less is more. A nice, steady airstream. Once again, the key here is don't try harder try easier. So once again, I'm playing a C harmonica here and we are going to be playing in cross harp in the key of G. And we're going to learn the song Lowrider by War, which is very simple. We're just going to draw on the three five times. Ta, 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 ta. And instead of drawing like with our breath, which is kind of, it's kind of hard for your diaphragm to have to move like that. We can just bounce. We can say ta, but 
instead of saying ta with our tongue touching the roof of our mouth, we can say ta against the harmonica. Against the harmonica. Okay. And if we want the notes to be short, staccato is the musical term for it, we can bounce our tongue off of the harmonica and put it back on. That'll make the, the notes nice and short. So how quickly our tongue gets back to being on the harmonica is dictating the length of the note. Okay, so we're gonna do five of those. Ready, go. Okay, you got that? If not, just keep practicing that until that comes easy. Pause the video and then come back to the video later to learn the rest of it. Once you can do that, then we're gonna go from the three draw to the four blow. And then we're gonna end this part of the phrase, the first half of the phrase, with the four draw. So five times on the three draw, once on the four blow, and then once on the four draw. Let's try it. Ready, go. Then we are going to do three blow, and then we're gonna do three draw, four blow, three draw, three blow. So that's gonna sound like this. To play the next part that Lee Oscar plays is actually more challenging and, and more advanced than we would want to attack at this point because it, it requires a whole step bend down on the two draw. What we can do is we can jump up an octave and we can play it on the five draw. Repeat it again. And then we're gonna go from the five draw to the six blow. That last blow on the six blow, we're gonna hold for long. And we can kind of crescendo, which means get a little bit louder. So let's try that whole end section with that nice long held note on the six blow. Ready, go. Five draw. Again, ta, ta, ta. Now five blow, six draw. Now that we've learned the whole song, let's go ahead and try and play it with the jam track. One, two, one, two, three, four. Again. Now we're gonna go up to the five draw. This was the slow jam track. The slow, medium, and fast jam tracks are at harmonica.com. Well, hey, congratulations. I wanna congratulate you on your decision to play the harmonica. It is such a wonderful instrument. It has brought me and so many other people in my life so many countless hours of joy. And so I encourage you to stay with it and be patient with it. This is an awesome instrument. You can take it anywhere on your lunch break. You can go for a walk, go play it while you're walking. If you have any questions, please do comment below the video. Of course, if you like it, please give us the thumbs up. And uh, don't forget to subscribe so that you can get all the latest lessons from harmonica.com when they come out. Also, there are free jam tracks and the written lesson and everything that goes along with this lesson at harmonica.com. So make sure you click on the link below the video. Otherwise, I just want to say thanks so much. It's fun jamming with you. And uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs>
Okay. <laughs> what is wrong with me?